Good day folks, my name is Sean and this is Air Photography. In this video I'm going to go over the top 6 accessories that I use most often with my GoPros. This time of year I like to make gear lists like this because there's going to be a lot of people getting their very first GoPro over the holiday season and they're wondering what gear they should get to help them get the most out of it. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So as mentioned, there's going to be a lot of people getting their very first GoPro over the holiday season, and you might be wondering what gear you should get to get started with. There's a ton of GoPro accessories on the market. Some accessories are things you'll use on a regular basis, other ones you might not use as much. The gear I'm going to go over with you today are my top six accessories, things that I use on a regular basis, and I think every new user should consider. Most of the gear I'm going to show you today is universal, that means it can be used with any generation of GoPros. However, there is one item that is GoPro specific, and I'll make sure I mention that as we go along. So the first item here is called the GoPro Max Grip. Now this was first launched alongside the GoPro Fusion and it was designed to be used with 360 cameras. However GoPro did start selling it independently because they did realize that it was a great tool for all GoPros. Here you can see I have my Hero 9 Black attached to it and in this configuration it just acts as a nice handle. It's comfortable to hold and it is oversized which makes it easy to grip even if you're wearing thick winter gloves. As you can see here with a twist we can extend it so if you do need to get extra reach in your video footage you can do so quite easy. The other nice benefit as you can see here it does fold out into a tripod so if you want to set your GoPro down to grab a quick time lapse you can do so very easily. So definitely a very versatile accessory to have in your GoPro camera kit. This is a universal accessory that means it can be used with any GoPro that utilizes the finger mount system. Now the next item here is the GoPro magnetic swivel clip. Now when I first ordered this in to check it out I wasn't sure how much I would actually use it but it has turned out to be quite useful and I have used it quite a bit this past summer. A couple of its main selling points is that it does have a magnetic base so you can stick it to metal objects and that includes your car. Now I wouldn't go down the road at a high rate of speed with this attached but definitely if you're just doing some slow driving it sticks quite well. As you can see there there is a clip on it so you can attach it to things like fences, tree branches, anything that will fit inside those jaws. The GoPro mount on the top does swivel so you can angle your GoPro properly. There is a buckle mount at the top here so if you do want to move your GoPro to another buckle mount accessory you can do so as well. It's very small and compact so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your GoPro kit and it does come in quite useful. They actually sell this in two versions. You can get it as just the clip or you can get it in conjunction with the GoPro little mini light that they sell. And I do believe they call this kit the Zeus or something like that. If you do think you'll make use of this little GoPro light that might be your better option. Again this is a universal mount so it can be used with any generation of GoPro. The next accessory here that I think every GoPro camera kit should have is called the handler. If you use your GoPro in and around water quite a bit this is definitely something to consider. If you happen to drop your GoPro in water this will keep it afloat. You can see we have a nice bright cap at the end here and uh, that makes it nice and visible if you do happen to drop it. As you can see the handle is covered in foam so it does make it nice and grippy when it's wet and slippery. Another nice feature of it as you can see here it does have a wrist strap so if you're going to be doing something where you don't want to accidentally drop your GoPro like say you're on a roller coaster filming your ride and you happen to let go this is going to keep it close to you and at the top here again we have another buckle mount so you can move it from one accessory to the other very easily. I use this as just an everyday handle quite often even if I'm not around water, it just makes for a nice small compact grip. Again, this is a universal accessory and it can be used with any GoPro generation. Now the next item I'm going to show you here that you may want to consider if you're new to GoPros and that is a dedicated charger and spare batteries. This charger here is directly from GoPro and when you purchase it, it does come with one spare battery. Definitely as a new GoPro user, you're going to find out quickly that GoPro batteries don't last very long. Now they did increase it this year with the Hero 9 Black. We do get it roughly an extra 30% of power, but generally that's going to get depleted fairly quickly depending on how much you film. For me, it's a good rule of thumb to have at least three batteries, two spares and then one for the camera. Now of course you can charge your batteries up via the GoPro, but it is a good idea to get a dedicated charger. And the reason being is if you're out filming and say, you have one spare battery with you. When your battery dies and you put the spare battery in, you want to be able to charge up that other battery. The only way to do that is to stop filming and plug your GoPro into the wall. When you're charging batteries, your GoPro is out of commission and it can't be used. Having a dedicated charger solves that problem and you can continually power up your batteries. Definitely as a new user, you should definitely consider some spare batteries, but also consider 
getting a dedicated charger. These chargers and batteries are GoPro specific, so if you are going to be purchasing spare batteries and perhaps a charger, make sure you know what type you need so you don't purchase the wrong ones. Now the next item here is waterproof housing for your GoPro. Now all recent GoPros are waterproof right out of the box up to 33 feet. If you're going to be going deeper than that, if you're scuba diving, you definitely need one of these to be able to go deeper. Most people aren't going to be going that deep in the water, but it's still a good idea to have some waterproof housing for your GoPro. And the reason being is, is that it just gives it a nice durable shell. If you're going to be doing anything with your GoPro that could potentially put it in harm's way, it's a lot cheaper to replace a case like this than to replace your whole GoPro. This one here is the official GoPro one, but you can get generic third-party ones on Amazon quite a bit cheaper. And for the most part, they don't cost a lot of money. It's one of those accessories that you won't use all the time, but definitely it is handy to have in your camera kit. Again, these are GoPro specific, so there is a version for the Hero 9 Black, a different version for the Hero 8 Black, the Hero 5, 6, and 7 Black all share the same type. So definitely something to consider for new GoPro users. Now the last item I'm going to show you here is called the Snap Mount. This is a versatile mount for your GoPro and it can be utilized in many different ways. Let's go ahead here and mount a GoPro in it and I'll show you how it works. As you can see here I have my Hero 9 Black mounted in the Snap Mount and the first way you can use it, basically just like a stand, you can see it will hold your GoPro up. So if you want to set it down to film yourself or capture time lapse, you can do so quite easily without mounting it in a tripod. Now the next way to use it is by utilizing the built-in magnets. There's some very powerful magnets in here and you can attach this to any metal surface. And that includes your car. You can stick this to any metal surface on your car. But to me the most handy feature of this mount is you can go from one accessory to the other without messing around with thumb screws. For example, you can see that they sell these accessory plates here and you can attach these to all your gear. So if I was going to mount my GoPro using this clamp, you can see here I can just attach it there like that. And that is a good strong secure connection. When you're ready to go to the next accessory, you just pull it off and you can see you can attach it to something else. So if you plan on moving your GoPro from accessory to accessory quite a bit, definitely this is something you might want to consider. And if you have a lot of accessories that you do want to attach these plates to, you can buy these individually. It also comes with this plate here. You can see it has a lanyard attached to it. You can actually wear this around your neck and then attach your GoPro to the front of you like you're wearing a chest mount. You can also use this plate to attach your GoPro to your backpack. So it is a very versatile accessory and I do highly recommend it. Now just before I go here, I do have one bonus item that I do want to share with you. If you aren't aware, if you're brand new to GoPro, I just want to mention that you can charge your GoPro with a power bank. And carrying a power bank in your camera kit, especially if you're traveling, hiking, adventuring, camping, anywhere you're away from traditional power, you can keep your GoPro charged for quite a bit of time. The power banks that I've been using lately are by RAV Power. These here have power delivery. As you can see there, they have USB-C power delivery. So you can charge up all your USB-C products very quickly. But the really nice feature of that power delivery port is that you can recharge your power bank super fast. Some of these large power banks can take upwards of six, seven hours to recharge. With the power delivery port, you can recharge these things in anywhere from three to four hours. And for those people who are on the go a lot, like I mentioned earlier in this video, you can use your third party charger and charge directly from the power bank. As you can see there, the battery is now charging. So definitely a power bank is a good tool to have in your GoPro camera kit. Well folks, that's basically it for my video. I'll include the links to all these products down in the description of this video. That way if you do want to go check them out further, you can do so. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.